Hey, it's Sofran Student here, and today I'm going to showcase how to create this very simple program which showcase a basic transition animation inside JavaFX. And what we're creating is just a simple transition where we animate a circle to move across the screen based on a button click. So whenever I click this button, I would move my circle down and back. Let's get started. So I already have created a new JavaFX window and I have connected my sample FXML to scene builder. So first let's just create a circle and make it a bit smaller. I'm give it a radius of 30. And I'm gonna put a layout area of X and Y of let's do 50 by 50. Put it in this top corner and we're gonna move it to the corner opposite. And let's give it an ID. Let's just call it circle. I'm going to save. I'm going to get the sample skeleton for my controller, which I will copy and paste inside my controller class. So now what I need to do is create something called a translation transition, which I will all at first at least create inside my initialize. So I'm going to implement initializable and implement initialize, which is a method called right after the window is loaded. So furled, I will create a translate transition, which I'm just going to call transition. And I'm just going to make a new translate transition. And then first going to set the node which means what object we will be moving. And in this case, it's just going to be our circle. Then we're going to define how we're going to move it by doing transition dot set to x tells how much or how far we're going to move it in the direction of x. And similarly, transition dot set to y. So it is dependent on where it is at the moment. So right now, our circle is at 50 by 50. So for example, let's say we want to move it down here to like, uh, let's see if we can do 550 by 350. We would actually need to move it 500 at X and 300 at Y because we are already to go back at 50 by 50, so we need to add them together. So 50, 500 by 50, 500 plus the 50 is going to end up at 550, and 300 plus the 50 is going to end up at 350. And we're then just simply going to do transition dot play. So let's try running the transition. And right now you can see it goes very fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to do transition dot set duration. And if we need to give it some kind of duration, I'm just going to do it in milliseconds because that's quite often used. And I'll just do a thousand milliseconds, which is one second. And see how it looks. It was a bit slower, but let's add like a bit more time. So it's gliding nice across the screen. Now it takes three seconds. So let's make it come back. So what we can do is we can do transition dot set auto reverse, which means if we run transition again, instead of just going further 500 by 300 in the same direction, we would go back. And then we can tell it how set how we're going to how for how many times we're going to do our cycle So set cycle count. Let's just do two at first. So now we would go down and we will go back. And then of course we can just add, let's add 10 and maybe make it a bit faster. And we would now have it just going back and forward and back and forward. And it actually looks quite nice already. But let's add some different, instead of just having it run right at the beginning, let's add a button. This is what I often like to do. So let's make it cycle count two, make it a bit slower. And then I'm going to add a button. Just going to put it down here. 
and on action we're just going to call method call go Let's say get my button and paste it into my controller let's put it up here so now what we need to do is actually take our translation transition out of our initialize because we need to access it somewhere else so what we do is we create it outside but we initialize it inside in, inside our initialize method and we would then take our play method call to our go so right now we would have a system where when i click the button it goes for a cycle which in this case is two cycles because the cycle count is two we could click the button and it goes back and forward and we can do it again so this is a very simple setup of an animation where we based on a button click in this case can move a circle around the screen so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and i wish you all a wonderful day